So today is going to be a fairly quick Bleach video, and I apologize for not doing a live reaction because tomorrow I want to do a bunch of videos for this channel and also for my gaming channel, and odds are not going to have the time to do that if I'm doing a live reaction and a review. So this week, again, unfortunately, just, live, just a review. And listen, I got to say, I have not read the Manga Panda version of this chapter of Bleach, but I'm going to assume that in Japan, like here, a lot of folks who are of particular standing, such as Mangaka, they would try and be as politically correct as possible. So, in this chapter, when you have Kenpachi say, and I quote, and it, it, it was funny, don't get me wrong, it's hilarious, it's like, I'm a sick dude, but I'm like, there's no way Kubo actually said it. There's no way yeah, Kenpachi said this. There's no way Kubo actually wrote that down on paper. And I quote, who gives a shit? From Kenpachi, after you have Ukitake say his thing and Sovan say her thing, Kenpachi, who gives a shit? As long as I can rape. <laughs> as long as I can rape everything. <laughs> Those two words together are hilarious. But, like I tell you, as long as I can rape everything that stands in my way, I'll have a big fucking grin on this face of mine. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. No. <laughs> There's no way that he said it. Wait. There's no way that Kubo or his editors would allow that to slide. Because in the context of what he's saying, I find it hysterical. But... Because I find it hysterical, you know that, that there are some cats out there in the world like, Oh my god, this rape is a serious, serious crime, and I, I understand that full well. It's just funny in this context. But still, it's like, my god, like... See, again, I haven't read the Manga Panda version, but... I have a hard time believing that Kuba actually put that on paper, and the editors okayed it. I have a hard time believing that. Either way... The first half of the chapter pretty much is speeches, motivational speeches. You have, uh, what's your name again? Uh, I forgot her name, my god. Well, you have Love, you have Hachi, you have that group pretty much. They come in there, and they have this gourd. They, apparently this gourd has some liquid, and the liquid is actually used to power these like dimensional rifts, pretty much. And they're going to use it in order to go to the Soul King Palace to make a portal, to make a door, so they can go in... Probably fight we them boys and Mr. Bear. But right now, Mr. Bear is taking on Ichigo and company. And, well, you know, I can't say that because Ichigo just did something fairly shocking, fairly surprising. And, and, and it's either two things. Number one, when he grabbed the sword, it was the blue vein that was embedded in the sword hilt and it controlled Ichigo. And he cut down the Soul King, or at least like the rest of its body. Or number two, it was the blue vein inside of Ichigo that took over. And the Quincy inside Ichigo said, like, like, as you are box stated, the Quincy, the Quincy inside Ichigo said, yo, this is the Soul King. Fuck him. Gone. So I'm not too sure. Because I, 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 the Quincy powers of Ichigo resemble Mr. Bale. So, I'm not too sure. I want to say it's the former, because that would keep Ichigo in a, you know, in a very good standing as a character, because he used to be a good guy, he was controlled by Yuha, and so on and so forth. But, if it's the latter, if Ichigo's blue vein actually took over, if his Quincy's power took over to cut down the Soul King, and you can see in the last page, the gate of, I forgot what it's called, shit. Oh, uh, the gate that surrounds the Seireite. If you see the gate actually crumbling, Soul Society is about to start, you know, 
going bye-bye. And that's actually a sign as well that maybe the Soul King actually truly is dead. Now, this debunked my theory about the Soul King residing in Ichibe, but there's still something funky going on there, so I'm not going to say it's debunked entirely because there's still a few things that are hidden in the veil. But still, Ichigo was the one that had the final swing. Not Yuha. Yuha just stabbed him. And I don't know why he doesn't have arms and, like, the rest of, like, his legs are gone. Like, his legs stop at, like, halfway down the shin. And then the rest are just gone, which is kind of weird. And he's in a crystal. Don't know why. But at the same time, I, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of things going on with the Soul King that are still a mystery. And that's the reason why I want to believe that he's still around. So these mysteries can be solved. Or they can be, uh, you know, brought to light. However, when you have the freaking gate crumbling, shit. Yeah. And then it was Ichigo who did that. The main character. Now again, the blow lessens on him as a character if he, if he was being controlled. If it was his own powers running amok... Uh, that's, that's, that's pretty deep. It's pretty heavy. And of course, Yuha. It was all foreseen. He's Yuha's just chilling with his hand in his pocket in the corner and shit. Like, mm -hmm, yeah, it was all foreseen. Yeah, you know what? From now on, put Jesus in the middle of my name. Yuha Jesus. Man. That's how you say it. Because right now, I'm on some soothsayer shit. I'm on some OD soothsayer shit. And I knew it was going to happen. He knew that Ichigo was going to meet Ichibe, have a mo how to re revive him, have a motivational speech, and so on. He knew all this shit. He knows that Urahara is coming right now with his boys. He knows. Fuck. You is... How do you counter that? How do you counter a dude that knows what you're going to do to advance? Way before you even damn do it. It's not just like a few moves before. It's not some Sharingan shit where, okay, I can see your muscle movements a few seconds or like an instant before. No, he can see this shit fucking way in advance. It's like, dude, what the fuck, man? Holy. Like, you are, he rose the bar of bleach. It's not even funny. He fucking skyrocketed that shit. Holy fuck, his powers are nuts. Uh, and that's why I love that. That's why I love you all. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do, fuck it. I was gonna say it for a while because you hasn't really shown anything that much. But tomorrow, fuck it. I'm gonna do a discussion video. Who's better as a villain, Yuha or Aizen? And you know what? I want to say some controversial shit. But listen, just let you know, I love them both. But there can only be one winner. And I do want to say it because Aizen is still in prison. Maybe he's gonna come out and do some epic ass shit. I don't know. But then again, if he did, you all would know anyway. Fuck! Alright, I'm done. The chapter overall, I'm going to give a rating. It's a simple chapter, the first half. And it was, eh, and you know, like, oh, well, you have a... I forgot what her name is, but Love and the Others. They like, get your Shihak show, the freaking uniform, whatever shit. Yeah, we're all Shihak got me here. Woohoo! Fuck is Grimjow. I want to see any more he Shihak whatevers. Where's Grimjow? That's all I care about. So the first half, man. Second half, oh yeah, that was a lot better. It was slow because it did, it did take a while. But you are just epic, so I'll, I'll let that pacing slide. So overall, the chapter rating is going to be a great... Oh yeah, I have a huge box for you. And I will see you guys and gals later. Well, no. Fuck that, I'm sorry. Eh, good plus, because the first half was pretty... Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was... So, King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe. Peace. Have a nice goddamn day. And rate the video. Make sure to do that now.